Hi students, good morning to all of you. Welcome to online class. Students, as per you knew that today I will come with one of the important organ systems in our body that is the respiratory system. Students, this is the one of the organ system. You knew already that is the digestive system, the circulatory systems. At the same like one more organ system in there in our body that is the respiratory system. What you call this one? The respiratory system. R e s p i r a t o r y. The respiratory system. Students, as per you know that uh, all living things breathe. Yes or no? All living things breathe. And also need food and water. We breathe in through our nose. Okay. So, as per the, this one basic, I drawn here one important the or uh, respiratory systems. Here, this is the respiratory systems diagram. Look here. This is these are the organs of respiratory systems. Keep in your mind, students. Nose, windpipe. Lungs. Not only how many lungs we have, two. So this is one lung. This is one lung. These are two or lungs. So this is one of the organs of in the respiratory system. So these are the organs of respiratory system. Nose, wind, five lungs. Okay. And now, uh, did you know why we breathe through the our nose? Why only we breathe through the nose, not for the mouth? If there any have any idea about this one, yes, students, very simple is there. Why we breathe through the nose? Because nose is there. It has a fine hair which trap the dust particles and very tiny insects. So always breathe through our nose and not through your mouth. Keep in your mind, students. You don't breathe through your mouth. Always breathe through the your nose. Because it is very helpful to our healthy life, and it is very helpful to the, our respiratory system. If you breathe through the, your nose very well, then your respiratory systems work very well. So I hope you are understood this one. Okay, this is wind five. Okay, when you take the air from the nose, that air goes to in here in the wind five. Then that air is. Goes to the windpipe and windpipe carry that air to reach the both lungs. Okay, this is the process of respiratory system. Okay, so the respiratory systems consist of nose, windpipe, pair of lungs. Pair means two. So in our body, how many we have lungs? Two. One, two. There are uh, this reason we call that is pair. So pair of lungs. Keep in your mind, students. These are the three are the respiratory system consisting organs are nose, wind five, pair of lungs. I hope you are understood this one. And one more thing, as you breathe in through your nose, air goes in. As you breathe through your nose, air goes in. Air means which air we are breathe. Did you know this one? Which air we take in the body? That is oxygen. What is oxygen? Which air we leave out of our body? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Keep in your mind. Okay. We we take in the our body oxygen air and leave out carbon dioxide. And when you take breathe through your nose. Air goes in through the your windpipe and it reaches the lungs. Okay, and these lungs are made up of thousands of air sacs. These are called air sac. Air sac, which look like a bunches of grapes. Which look like a bunches of grapes. These are look like a grapes, but commonly we are called this one. Air sacs and each air sac is surrounded by the one blood vessels capillaries. So each air sac surrounded by the capillary blood vessels and these capillaries contain impure blood brought from the heart. As the air containing oxygen reaches the air sac, the capillary releases the carbon dioxide 
and absorb the oxygen then exchanging gas through the lungs keep in your mind the exchanging of gas where is take place in the lungs then air sacs now contain carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide leave our body leave our body as you breathe out this is process is goes on continuously this is the respiratory system or function i hope you are understood this one have a nice day bye